All right, I'm gonna step out to seven two homework with you. Um, this one is about variables on both sides with grouping symbols or the distributive properties. So here we go. Two times the quantity of G minus seven equals 16. As soon as you say times the quantity of, that means the distributive property. So, I'm going to be distributing that 2 to the g to the negative 7. Don't lose that negative. And then you start your process just like 7.1. Trying to make it neat. Distributed. Acknowledge that the constant needs to go over with the family. Efficient. Solution. Doesn't take long to do them once you start to get into like the routine of it. It's pretty easy. First, acknowledge the distributive property. Notice I just drop everything else down that is not a part of the distributive property. Distribute, three to the F. So step one, read the problem. See if you can find the distributive property, do it. Step, the next step is to look at this and go, okay, how can I make this look simpler? Well, can't you put these two no co constants together? You definitely could. Start your movement and make decisions. I'm going to move the F over here so as not to have a negative in my coefficient. You don't have to, could have went a different way. Whew, you're getting longer. Keep your neatness. Don't get all over the page, don't block everything in. The only thing I need to see blocked in is your solutions. Notice I added opposite, plus I put the one there. I saw the distributive property right here. So what you can see is like I'm trying to clean things up as I go, recognize things as I go. So 
So this looks a little big over here. So I noticed I got a variable and a variable. So I'm gonna combine those together to make three N. So every step gets written down. Everything that I see and I'm processing, I wanna see it on paper. That way I make less mistakes when I do that. Mm. Took a minute to decide who I wanted to move. Saw that I was gonna probably end up with a negative no matter what, but at least I wouldn't have it with my coefficient. Less errors to be made if I don't have it with my coefficient. I don't want that and one there. I don't need it anymore. So just n equals negative three. All of a sudden it got really easy again. or I should say short, they're not hard. Yeah, there you go. Double distributive. That's where that negative is coming from. Distribute the two to the six X, two to the one, four to the X, four to the negative five. See what you can do right here. So I'm able to fit six on that page. Well, that is not very straight. Oh, look at that. Opposites make zero. Okay, we've got the T here and a plus sign there. So 12 T. Uh-oh. Notice something. I'm going to get rid of this over here, and I'll be left with zero and zero. So zero equals three. Does is that a true statement? Nope. So this is called. You can either put the null thing, null, 
You can say no solution, empty set. When you see that both sides don't eat equal each other, variables canceled out, this is what it's called. You just need to pick one of those. You don't have to list all of them. Right, number 15. Oops, 't subtract it that way. Got to always have the larger value on top. I know it's going to be negative. Whew. I definitely wanted you to do an all numbers one. I should probably throw in a question, like number 12. I'm gonna do number 12 right here. Okay, so we have 8b plus negative 24 plus 11 equals 8b plus negative 13. Put this together. 8b plus negative 13 equals 8b plus negative 13. When it ends up that they're the same on both sides, we just say all numbers. We don't need to go any further. Okay? And then we get into the rectangle.